Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com here. Today we're going to show you how to root your HTC Magic. Um, I have here a My Touch. It basically is a Magic just branded to T-Mobile. Um, so we're just going to use this because I don't have a regular HTC Magic around. Um, but the procedure is the same. Uh, you're going to have a few differences whether you have 32A or 32B motherboard, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So to begin, we're going to check our motherboard version by holding down volume down and power. Okay, you should get this screen. Very top, you're gonna see that right there. So this motherboard is 32B. If that says 32A, then your motherboard is 32A. So you need to follow the procedure accordingly to that motherboard. Um, the only real difference is that you're gonna be downloading a different recovery image, and then when you start downloading ROMs, you're gonna to have to download ROMs that are specific to 32A or 32B as well. So, but now that we know that this is 32B, we can go on to the next step. Okay, after we know what motherboard we have, we're gonna turn on the phone, go to settings, go to applications, and make sure that unknown sources is checked. Okay, and then hit home, and we can go to the next step. Okay, after that, you're gonna go to theunlocker.com, spell like that, if you're not already there. And you're gonna scroll down to section two, root the magic, and download two of these three files here in step one. Um, you need that one regardless, and then you need to choose one of these based on that number we saw on your motherboard earlier. So if you had 32A show up, choose this one. If you had 32B, choose this one. Make sure that you don't choose the wrong one. Um, but download those and get ready for the next step. Okay, next we're gonna plug in the USB cable. And pull down the notifications, click on USB and click them out. Okay, once the SD card shows up on the computer, you can click the two files that we downloaded over to the root of the SD card. You don't want to put them in any folders, so make sure they're just at the root. Um, and also you'll notice that if you had a 32A motherboard, this letter here will be a H. If you have a 32B, it'll be a G. So that's really going to be the only difference between the two procedures. Um, it'll come up later on as well, but that's pretty much it. Um, so now go to the next step. Okay, next step is now that we have the two files on the SD, we can unplug the phone. And ignore that. We are going to go to Linda File Manager. If you don't already have it, you can download it from the market for free. You can open the SD card. Click on the FlashRec APK package installer. We're going to click install and let it install. Okay, once it's done installing, you can click open. And once it's open, the only button you can click on right now is backup recovery image. We're going to do that. Now that's backed up. It'll say flash cyanogen recovery image. That's not the recovery image we want. Uh, there's a better one by Amon Ra. We're going to, which is the one that we downloaded to the um, SD card. So we're going to click in the box and we're going to type SD card slash recovery hyphen R A V. One point two. Point one G dot I M G and hit done. And now, if you typed it in correctly and it's on the right spot on your memory card, you're going to see flash custom recovery image. That's what we want. So we're going to click that and let it flash that. Once it says that it's done, you can turn off the phone. After the phone turns off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and home to get to the recovery screen. OK, 
Okay, and so long as this pops up, you've done it correctly, you can go on to the next step.